First time in 35 years, back in the States. It's going to be great fun. My experience with the RSNO, they just are committed all the time. Before we play an encore, I say, you know, I just want to let you know that this is the first time in 35 years that the RSNO has been in the US. And everyone just swoons. I mean, they just feel so thrilled that they're witnessing this thing. It's adorable. Welcome, Nikki. Okay, here we go. They were the first major, top-level professional orchestra I ever played with. With so many close relationships between me and members of the orchestra, that provides all that kind of support and just closeness. You feel like you're experiencing and going through everything together. I have so much respect for them, not just collectively as a musical body, but individually as musicians. To each concert and each rehearsal, just to want to want to do my best. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Audiences here have been fantastic. I mean, they're actually very sophisticated audiences that just really want to come and hear music. They now they live in Florida and they come down, they just thrive on this stuff. very much you heard and felt the particular quality that this orchestra brings to every note it plays and mm -hmm. thank you very much to see you again. the world scottish national orchestra has a strong relationship with the u.s and it goes back to the 1930s where conductors like george zell started their career in glasgow and edinburgh more recently neme yervi was a music director and right now, Peter Gunjan is our music director, and he happens to reside in Connecticut. The music that you heard today is being played by four fabulous young musicians, teenagers from the Joseph School. This morning, we got a chance to visit. What I would love to see you do is to actually loosen that up. One of the things I'm really proud of is the fact that UK orchestras lead the world as an example of how orchestras and musicians in orchestras can be a resource for the entire community. We've been trying really hard to make that case whilst on tour. It's not something that orchestras normally do. This has always been an orchestra that likes to take risk. It has a very special sound, a very special energy in it. It is very flexible. You know, it's, a, it's always an adventure. Some groups of musicians, they are very dependent on where they are depending on the acoustic or how they feel about the place, the prestige of the place. I just don't see that with this orchestra. I just see them just like, there's like this push and pull all the time. To be getting onto a stage every night and giving everything, whether you're at home or abroad, I think that's a great quality. This is probably the best we've heard. Enjoy the concert. It was so nice. The Brahms was excellent. It was fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.
Did anybody go on that tour 35 years ago? Probably not. Right. Really? Really? Lance? Okay, so. Yeah, okay. Wow. God, I always thought you were about 30.